So today we're doing Beneglo. So back there's where you park your car. You can see the new trusty brief there. Complete with accident repair damage after the woman took my bloody bumper off. And white stuff still about. And we get to this bit. It clearly says no cars. And Peter knows the route. We're out with Peter again today. Hi there. I should know the route. I've cycled in the, the, these men roads many times. Okay. Right, Lead top on. tip. If you're going to do this hill, don't go left too soon at the summit. Uh, go downhill a wee bit to reach that wee hut. And then we're here. And then we're on the path, and the path continues right past Peter, and then turns into a six-carriage motorway all the way up that hill. Don't think we can get lost today, Peter. No, I doubt it very much. Okay, so we now. Uh, yeah, right, that's number two, that's number three, and that's the after summits. And what really interested me was what this is we are here. Past the, the snowy one. Died down. So now we can really appreciate Monroe 2 and Monroe 3, the ridge that leads us to Monroe 2 and the Bailac between 2 and 3. Uh, I don't know their names. That's the first one up there. Uh, get the paper out and read Cairn what the Cairn Rath. Cairn Rath. Rath? I think so. Right. And uh, we think the Lara Cruz kind of over there. Zoom in on that again. That, I think. Yeah. I'll go with that. So, onward as they say. So that's my row number two. There's two folk just reaching the top of that in. Whoa. Whoa. Get that optical st image stabilization on. And then for there, across to the second summit of that, and then a B lag, and then up, and I think the summit's the one at the back there. And then no sure the way down. That looks a candidate there. So here's where we've came from. Row number one. And the ensuing ridge walk. And there's those beautiful Monroe's away over there. I wonder what they are. Five sisters I can tell. In Glenshield Ridge, and that's what they are, Peter. What are they? 
Aha. Nein, da ist das 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 ist Route between Monroe One and Monroe Three. Oh dear. We're back in the white stuff, we're back in the white stuff. Oh, not for very far. That's the descent of the ridge of the third mineral. I met a couple who had done it and they said it was as bad as Anne Stuck. Worse than uh, Anak Big, Anak Moore down to. CMD. Not good. So here we are. That's Monroe number three. The summit's actually one just behind him. Monroe number two. Monroe number one. And there's the way all. Okay, so that's the last we're going to see the second Monroe. Over there's the Pilak between the two that we've uh, just came from. Probably the last filming of the day, hope you enjoyed it. Last filming for today because it's looking so pretty. That looks as though there's a guy there up there, that white patch of snow looks like a some kind of guy in a football or something. There's the motorway up to the top. Choice of paths. Eroded to buggery. So this is the return path. Skips along the side of the hill and then eventually joins up this land over track. Uh, now, important to note, there's the, the hut that's mentioned in the guide. You don't need to leave this Land Rover track till you see the hut. Okay, so if you're going to climb Beneglow, you come up this Land Rover track for the car park. And instead of going that way, you go that way. Because the guides mentioned the hut thing, which is 
just through her there somewhere. You can see the roof out a wee bit there. So when you see the hut, take the fork to the left. And that is your return path if you do the second and or third minnows. Okay, cheers.